Tonight, the search for some solutions to address a rise in violent crimes in Atlanta. Joining me is City Council President Felicia Moore, also mayoral candidate. I'd love your perspective on the newest numbers that APD shared with us. Murders up 80% from this time last year, 47% climb in aggravated assaults, also 47% more cars stolen. What do you feel is driving the spike in violent crimes? First of all, the numbers are unsettling and they're heartbreaking. And I know that they're shocking uh, people across the city, but then again, uh, people are seeing crime across the city and recognize that we have a problem. So I think COVID does have a lot to do with it because I believe if you look at the numbers, you can see that they started to increase uh, once this pandemic happened. And it also culminated with what preceded right before that which was a, some of the unrest that we had mm -hmm. because of uh, police uh, abuse uh, cases that happened in other cities as well as our city and the uh, social um, justice movement and the protests that happened. All of this is made for a perfect storm, uh, unperfect storm, I would like to call it, mm -hmm. of things that have culminated in a lot of activity in our city. We don't have police officers on every corner if we can find a pattern that we can attract and we can attack, then that's something that we should do. Council President Moore says the Atlanta City Council is looking at solutions, including speeding up the process to name a permanent police chief and looking at the need to recruit officers. Coming up at 6, how many open positions need to be filled within APD to get enough officers on the street.